What's going on guys? Kyle at Outlaw Harley Davidson here and this is your 2021 Sportster 48. So color options on this motorcycle for 2021, you get three. You get the Vivid Black as always, you get the Billiard Teal, and then you also get the Midnight Crimson. Uh, this one obviously dressed out in your Vivid Black color. Uh, it's a great color for this bike because, I mean, it gives you just about anywhere you want to go as far as, uh, you know, a blank canvas to start building on. A lot of reasons why I love the 48, guys. One of the biggest reasons is it has the best suspension of all your current Sportsters. Uh, you know, the Roadster used to have that, but they don't make that motorcycle anymore. So the 48 has that bigger front end with the fender brace, um, and then you get the adjustable rear shocks back there as well in the rear. So you get the fat front tire with the 130 in the front, you get the 150 in the back, so it puts the most rubber on the road out of all your Sportsters. Uh, one, one big thing that I really love about that bike. Um, get the 1200 motor with a five-speed transmission is always on your Sportsters. Um, and guys, if you're looking to get out and about and just get used to riding on the road, just out and about in town, stuff like that, this is a great bike to start on. Uh, definitely a beginner's bike, but hey, I even know some guys that have uh, you know bought a 48 because they have one from every family, the Sportsters, a Dyna, a Softail, a Touring Bike, and they put bars on them. I've seen these things cafe racered out. There's just so many different ways you can go with the customizations of your 48. Um, it, like I said, kind of gives you that great blank canvas to start with. The comfort of this bike, one thing I really, really like is that it comes with the forward controls. It allows me to kind of stretch out a little bit more with my long legs. Um, you guys may or may not know, but I used to ride a 1200 CX, which was the Roadster, and it had mid controls and it kept my, my knees up in the tank a lot, kept you in a very aggressive riding position. This one's a little bit more laid back riding position with your hands out in front of you and your feet out in front of you too. So uh, kind of more of a cruiser setup or a cruiser sitting position than what you get on maybe your Iron 883 or uh, other 1200s that you may know. 2.1 gallon tank on this motorcycle, guys, so it gives you just enough fuel to get out there, get out and about for a couple hours. Another great thing about this motorcycle is the seat height. You get the 26.2 inch seat height on this motorcycle, making it a great choice for somebody that is shorter um, or doesn't have the reach to be completely flat footed on some other models. Um, guys, overall, great motorcycle for beginners. It, like I said earlier, if you're looking to get out there and get used to the road, uh, this is a great model to choose. So now uh, I'm gonna put my gear on. I'm gonna hop on this motorcycle. We're gonna take that test ride route that you guys are pretty familiar with by now. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about the performance, uh, the power of the motorcycle, how comfortable it is, how it handles, and just generally how I feel while I'm out there riding on this 2148. All right, guys, here we go. Test ride review on a 2021 Sportster 48. Love these little bikes, guys. So, if you all are clicking on this video to find out what it's all about, which obviously, why you're clicking on this video um, a lot of you guys are probably going to be beginner riders people that are looking to get into either Harley Davidson from sport bikes or um, you know just looking to get on the road on two wheels period and you know this would be a great place to start for either of those people. Some people that might be watching, some of y'all might be aware that uh, I used to ride a 1200. I rode a 1200 CX, a 2016 Roadster. Um, great bike. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the nicest Sportsters or really is probably the nicest one that they've ever made model-wise. Um, best suspension, it had the inverted forks, it had 13 inch rear shocks, 
had the 1200 motor and essentially the 48 is kind of a lower sitting uh, fiber version of the roadster. The roadster was like your cafe style racer um, and you can still cafe out a 48. That's the cool thing about a 48 guys is you can go all kinds of different ways as far as customizations go. Um, you know, the possibilities are really uh, quite literally in, endless with your Sportster 48 because they've been making them for so long, you know, uh, at least been making the Sportsters the same way for a, a lot of years. So the aftermarket world, is, um, you know, and, and the Harley-Davidson world is endless with ways you can customize these things. Um, you know, I, I, I prefer the 48 for a number of different reasons. Forward controls, um, great way to stay a little bit more comfortable while you're out. Um, you don't, don't get a ton of room to stretch out on this thing, guys, but um, if you had mid controls, you know, you'd be really cramped up. So. Um, the Roadster did, does have mid controls. It came stock with them, anyways. I kept the mids because I love that for handling. Uh, but this thing still handles really, really well with forward controls too. You know, they're they're not too far forward because, like, like I said, you don't have a ton of room. But uh, you know, they're forward enough to where you have plenty of leg room so that's nice uh, the bar positioning is pretty good I'm not real hunched over I am a little bit taller so I have longer arms to reach the bars the way they are but some people put you know 12 inch 14 inch bars I've seen um, clip-ons on 48s before which is, looks really cool probably not the most comfortable way to ride uh, but man, this little thing handles really, really well. I feel secure to the ground. Another big reason I like the 48 is the fat tires. Um, you know, it gives it a, a look that you don't get with the other Sportster models. Um, and it gives you a little bit more confidence in corners too, so. All right, gonna get on to Pink Hill Road here. Let's see what it has the offer. It's snappy. <laughs> you know, this makes me miss my, my roaster. I, I love my low rider S, but <laughs> just having the little frame just a little bit smaller motorcycle than what I'm riding now. You know, this thing handles really well. It's lightweight, you know, uh, super, super comfortable. Uh, as far as, you know, a lot of people are worried about a Sportster not lasting a long time, really. As long as you're not getting out on trips, doing long, long highway stuff, I think you'd be just fine, but this little thing definitely eats up the corners, <laughs> and it's snappy. They got a lot of torque. They like to run in the higher RPMs, it seems like, you know, uh, <laughs> but you can have a lot of fun. The suspension is actually really, it's a little rough in the rear, but I mean, you're going to get that with a Sportster. Uh, you know, you don't have a nice soft tail suspension. You don't have the travel of a touring bike suspension. So, uh, and you also don't have the quite, you have the load adjustability with the tool, um, you know, but it's not going to be adjustable the way a touring bike would be or the way a soft tail would be uh, with the new monoshock setup but uh, you can adjust it if you load it down to go take a trip on it I've seen these things 
Uh, believe it or not, changed it out to the tank. Gone with a bigger tank. You do get a 2.2 gallon tank, so you, you don't get a ton of gas, but for round town riding, it's, it's just about right. Um, you know, there's, for a couple years they did uh, the four gallon tank, I think it was the four and a half gallon tank on the 1200T. Uh, which was the touring model of the Sportster, the 1200 Sportster that came with saddlebags, windshields, uh, many floorboards for pegs instead of the pegs, so it was set up more for touring. Uh, you know, I think personally, if you put that bigger tank on here, it takes away from the style of the 48, meant to be a bobber. That peanut tank is kind of gives it the cool 70s. Sportster look or the 80s, you know, look. Uh, they've had all kinds of cool paint jobs on this thing over the years and custom, the old hard, hard candy custom colors. Uh, so, I mean, you know, you can find different generations of the 48 that has different color options too. This year's color options are, uh, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, the bit of black, the billiard seal, and Midnight Crimson. What a beautiful day. It's the middle of May, 2021. It's a little, little chilly, uh, but I got, you know, a hoodie on and it's Perfect riding day. All right, gonna get on the seven highway and see what this sportster's like in traffic. cycle button over here gives you the ability to change what screen you have available to you in your odometer. Uh, and right now I have it on digital RPM readout and gear indicator, which is really, really nice. Um, you know, the Sportster do, does not come with a gas gauge. Um, I've seen them retrofitted to these bikes or uh, aftermark fit aftermarket fitted um, gas gauges. Harley has a gas gauge that you can replace the gas cap. So there's options there. Uh, I always track my gas by my trip meter, uh, which is an easy way to do it on a Sportster too, because you're going to get a gas light that comes on and you'll know how many miles you have based off that gas light coming on. So feeling good size in traffic uh, you know you always want to be careful in traffic but either way these people they're aware that I'm out here on a motorcycle um, love the lightweight at a stoplight biggest things that comes to mind when I'm on one of these sportsters is just nimble. You know, they're so easy to maneuver at slow speeds. I mean, you know, it just feels kind of like a big bicycle, really. Uh, not heavy at all. You know, now this is coming from somebody with some experience, so for you beginners, it's going to maybe feel a little bit top-heavy. 
Uh, that's just the motor setup, you know, with the transmission sitting right underneath the motor on, on a Sportster style Evo motor. Um, you know, your soft tails and your touring bikes are obviously going to be a little bit better balanced because, um, you know, the transmission sits rear of the motor, which sits in, in front of the transmission. So, uh, but you also get the more, uh, the heavier weight with a touring bike too. So it's kind of a give and take. Um, But the low seat height on this thing too allows easy reachability to the ground. You, you you'll never really feel insecure about uh, you know being able to be flat-footed. It's got a 26 and a half inch seat height or 26.2. So I mean it's it's really not a, a very tall motorcycle, and I've seen very small individuals be able to. Uh, feel confident on this bike too so kind of a busy day on 7 highway we are going to get this thing on the highway because well, why the hell not I want you guys to see what it's like on a 48 Sportster going down I-70. Not a real windy day, but enough wind to let you know that it's there. Get around and try and pass these people. guy pulling out right in front of me. Obviously didn't see me. Probably did. Didn't care. But either way. So the wind on on the highway is really not too bad. I mean, I got a full face helmet on, but uh, oh, <laughs> just reached for another gear. So fifth gear, that's all you got. Going 70 miles an hour. Uh, <laughs> it is, it's a little windy. But no windshield or anything like that on this bike either, so put a windshield, that'll help. Get over into the right lane. Got it up to almost 80. Didn't quite hit 4,000 RPM, so I apologize for going a little too fast, but just wanted to see what it was like for you guys at, the, at that 80 mile an hour speed, which is cruising in a lot of states, um, but 70, you know, feels just right, you're right at about 3250 RPM, I went up to just, you know, just under 80, and I think it was about uh, 3700, just a little over 3700 RPM, so... It can cruise on the highway, you're just, you know, you're not cruising at two and a half grand, you know, like you maybe would be on a, on a touring bike in six gears, so. Uh, Alright, so, almost back to the dealership. Guys, I hope you got a lot out of this video, or at least what you were looking for. Um, definitely a great bike, not only for beginners, but, you know, guys, if you bought a big bike here recently, or you have a big bike and you want something to get that small two-wheeled feeling back again, this is a great option for those guys, too. Gals, if you need a motorcycle that's easy to flat foot, want to get your feet wet and riding, great option. I've sold many 48s to lady beginners um, and experienced ladies too, you know, somebody that just wants to get into Harley Davidson coming off of a metric bike or something like that. So, All right guys, so just initial reactions getting off the motorcycle. Uh, great bike. I mean, and like I was saying while I was out there, if you're a beginner, 
looking to get going in Harley Davidson, looking to get your feet wet with riding uh, and don't want a sport bike or a metric bike or anything like that, great option. It'll keep you from trading in too quick because it's got the 1200 motor. It's got the nicest suspension of all your sportsters that are out right now. Um, you know, comfortable too. It's forward controls, nice sitting position. And like I said too, while I was out there, it gives you a base to really kind of customize this motorcycle any way you want it to. The aftermarket world is endless for these things. So um, I really hope this was an informational video, video for you guys. I hope you got what you were looking for when you clicked on it. Uh, but I need some favors. I need you to like this, this video. I need you to smash that subscribe button. When we got new stuff coming out, I want you guys to be the first ones to know about it. We'll see you next time.